Okay. So we've got the start caps hooked up. Got an amp clamp on. Got the motor here. Last time I had this motor hooked up, pulled about 320 amps on startup. I got the meter set to max, so we'll see uh, see what happens. Got the start caps in for about half a second. Let's see where this goes. amps now this motor is brand new but it's been sitting a while could probably use a little grease if I recall I think that front seal squeaks a little until it gets warmed up but this motor I got brand new in the box unused still wrapped in cellophane it wasn't I don't think it was a reman uh, I got it for 50 bucks <laughs> I, uh, I sniped in on an eBay auction on something that nobody was bidding on, local pickup, and I just went over there and picked it up. It was 50 bucks. The guy was kind of pissed, but I got it. So, who knows what the voltages are. It's probably maybe 200 volts coming off the third leg, so I don't have any of the balance caps in there, but I don't care. Uh, 322 amps. <laughs> That's a uh, <it's> six-gauge <laughs> copper wire um, on, the in, on the inlet here, so... At least all this stuff is copper. Going out is aluminum and coming in is aluminum. Six gauge aluminum can handle 60 amps continuous. Uh, copper can handle 75 amps continuous. Um, I think at max load, I'll see 15 horsepower running out in the shop. I'll see 15 amps. Or I'll see, sorry, 60 amps as a continuous load if I'm running 15 horsepower. So that's like <clears throat> my air compressor at 12 plus my mills two still at 2014 horsepower. So if for some reason someone starts up another machine like the angle bench or the pedestal grinder, I'll be at 16 horse. But this is service entry wire, so you can actually overrate that I think by uh, 25%. At least they let you do it when it's on a meter, so I don't see why I couldn't do it here temporarily if I'm running at 1.16 horse instead of 15 that it can handle continuously so uh yeah it fires up it outputs power i mean i could probably go run stuff in the shop right now with this and all the machines really wouldn't care but i would know the voltage isn't uh it's not even across the board and the third leg would pull more amps than the other two because the voltage is lower so finish that up uh another day so this is part two Part three is everything done running with uh, hopefully switches out in the shop.